Hello, I'm James from Valwhite Marine. Coming to you from a different location today, I'm at the Haynes Marine factory in Norfolk. We are on board Haynes 36 Offshore. It's a brand new boat here on the hard standing. Uh, it's got a single Volvo 300 horsepower engine driving through a shaft. Um, and I want to get you on board and show you around. So I'm just coming to you from the aft deck of the 36 Offshore. And one of the best things about this stand style layout is the excellent access. So if you're moored stern too, you've got a really nice deep swim platform. You come through and on one level, you can come through the transom gate onto this aft deck which is really spacious. So access is excellent. If you've got a dog, or you've got children, or you've got less mobility than some people, then it's a really e nice, easy boat to get onto. Nice big um, rear cockpit space here. You've got a fixed roof with an opening skylight. You can fully enclose this area with canopies or equally take them all off. It's, it's entirely up to you. The storage on this boat is phenomenal. If you're gonna go away cruising for a while and you're taking things like paddle boards or spare provisions, you've got this massive lazarette under the floor here. You've also got access to your stern thruster there and the storage goes right up underneath boat size of the rear deck of the boat. So phenomenal amount of storage for those longer trips away. The table is a high-low table in the saloon. That's designed that that can come out here so that you can have this as a separate dining and entertaining area and that works really well if you just pull that seat back over. That's got a flip over on it and you can obviously have some people sat there. You've got your table here and there's also a freestanding stool that can sit in there as well. So you've got a nice big area, you probably have six, eight people all sat out there around the table. So that works really well. Coming through, the boat has got the signature of bifold slide and stack doors. So this is great. It feels like an inside outside kind of vibe with the boat. But equally, if you want to close them, it's very quick and easy. You just roll those back across and that will leave you access like that, so that you've just got a single walkway in and out of the boat when you want to. So I'll just move those across, come back and bring you inside. So you've got a nice two L-shaped seating areas here. So if there's a big group of you again and it's got a bit cold, you've come inside, you've got this nice big spacious area. You can have it as a dining area, table goes up and down, whatever works for you. The other thing that's great on this layout is if you want to make this into an occasional berth, that cushion comes forward. So that creates an occasional berth for you there if you've got friends staying on board. But what also works really well is once you're underway, you probably change the layout here. This seat flips over and then you've got this great bench. There can be four of you forward facing once you're underway. And I know from being in one of these boats myself, the window opens there on both sides. It's a great place to be. You've got really good visibility. You've got airflow. It's, it's, it's fun and it's really social when you're underway. Helm on the boat reflects the fact that it is an offshore model. So you've got uh, your VHF there, bounce down thrusters, chart plotter, and all your other instrumentation over there. Your trim, uh, trim tab controls over there as well. All 36 sedan and offshore models have twin opening sunroofs, which are electric. That is included in the standards back of the boat. That's not an extra. And as you might expect, it's got blackout blinds from one side. If, or if it's a summer's evening and you've got those open, you don't want the bugs in, you've got the um, fly screen the other way. So <clears throat> coming down into the galley, this works really well on this boat, I feel. So you've got somebody that's sat up there having their morning cup of coffee. You've got this nice area. It's effectively a breakfast bar with a nice um, complementing composite worktop that goes right through. So once you're down in the galley, you've got a decent sized fridge which has got a freezer compartment in that, so you can make ice for your drinks. You've got a uh, domestic gas oven, and then a three burner gas hob on the top. Twin stainless steel sinks. So through into the forward cabin, you've got a really nice island berth in there. That's got storage underneath it. And then round onto the port side, you've got a double wardrobe. That's all backlit. And then coming round, there's a really nice feature on the Hanes. You have some storage um, underneath, uh, sorry, above the bed. So if you've got devices like your phone, your iPads, it's a nice place to tuck them away of an evening or if you've got a book. And then coming round onto the starboard side, you've got more storage on that side. The washroom and toilet is um, uh, Jack and Jill. So you've got access through from the forward cabin 
but then you've also got access through opposite the galley so if you want to use that as a day head one of the really nice features about the 36 layout is that you do benefit for having a separate shower enclosure so it's not a wet room separate shower and toilet which is really nice to have so we've taken the saloon floor up just so you can have a look at the engine installation on this boat you've got great access to your weed filter on the forward side there dipsticks there for your oil and the point i wanted to make as well is to show you um, how much space there is around the engine so once it does come to maintenance it's your engineer or if you just want to check anything out all the panels lift up i've taken that one out so you can see there but there is a lot of space around the engine so easy to work on so we've got the engine all uh, put back to bed and I just wanted to finally end with this little storage area here. This boat's been specced with the additional cool box. So if you've got a lot of people on board and you don't want to keep nipping down to the galley, you can um, top load all your bottles and drinks in there and it's obviously easily accessible. You've also got extra storage on top. So I guess you might say that this is your drinks area. I'm going to round off and I want to give you a few things I love about this boat because there are a lot of things I love about this boat. Walking... Um, from the bow coming back into it i love the fact that you've got that separate shower enclosure i think that makes a big difference if you're spending a week or so on the boat the other thing i love is that breakfast bar area i think that works really really well and again if you've got a nice view we all like to sit and have a coffee you're going to have that seat flipped over and you're going to be sat there having a cup of coffee enjoying the view i also like putting this area into these two l shapes and i think it's a big crowd of you you're all going to be sat there you've got so much space and I think finally, it's a bit of a practical matter, but I am a big fan of the lazarette. Uh, particularly when we go to boat shows, I get the benefit of it because we can put all our kit in there. But if you're cruising, that's where you're going to store, you know, all your toys uh, and your extra provisions. Thanks for watching the video. This boat is available on our website. We're going to put the link in the description if you're on YouTube. Do get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you.